it, so it, it's interesting. Yeah, I, I went from California oh, to yeah. here, so I, I really didn't get much of it. Right? No break. And, and listen, the, the cost of living is going up, and you, you yep. wonder how sustainable is it? You know, how sustainable is it for low income, you know, moderately income people to live here? Yep. It feels impossible. We just yes. look at what's happening even in New Jersey, we're reporting tomorrow, where sure. those prices are going up for trying to commute into the city as more people move away Huge from problem. New York. True. Huge problem. All right, now I want to talk about Taylor Swift. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's great, and I'm really, I'm really grateful you shared that story. But now, Taylor Swift, we're all in awe of Simone Biles, right? Yes. That's something we can actually She's agree amazing. on. Yes. And it looks like so is Taylor Swift. This clip of Simone Biles' floor routine went viral because she used Swift's song, Are You Ready For It? Well, it actually caught Taylor's attention, and she commented on Twitter, I watched this so many times, and I'm still unready. <laughs> That's cute. Aww. Files will represent Team USA in the Paris Olympics. That's less than a month away. Oh, Simone Biles. What an icon. I, I, I love saying, her. You know, um, we were talking about the Aperol Spritz is Europe's biggest yes, yeah. export to us. Yes. Uh, Taylor Swift has to be our biggest export yeah. to the world, right? Oh, definitely one of them. All of the travel shows, because I... You know, six days from today, I'll be in Amsterdam for Taylor Swift. Oh, yes. So she even you're you know, spending she, money on that. I'm, spe I'm okay. spending all of my money. On <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Thanks for mentioning it. So yeah, I mean, the way she stimulated the global economy, she yeah. is an icon, and Simone Biles is just the best. I can't wait to cheer her on in Paris. Right. Also, someone to cheer on. Take a look at this. That's amazing. I mean, Coldplay always puts on a great show, but it's even more incredible when you see actor Michael J. Fox on stage with Coldplay jamming out during their song Fix You. This was during the Glastonbury Festival in the UK. The actor has been very public about his battle with Parkinson's disease, uh, often pokes fun at it. Uh, they have a song on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yep. He's a good spirit and, and continues to be an inspiration. And actually, the, the, the front man for Coldplay, Chris Martin, said that he was a big inspiration for. Um, for, uh, for Michael J. Fox, the biggest brush for him growing up. So cool. cool they got to reunite on stage and yeah. see that performance. See him playing the guitar, diagnosed with Parkinson's when he was 29 years old. And wow. now Michael J. Fox, I think, is 63 or 64. I like the height of his career, too. We're yes. talking. He was at one point so the guy. young, so young, 29. Great right. to see that, though. Danny, Michelle, you guys know I'm a bit of a movie buff here. A little bit. Yeah. I love movies. I do love A Quiet Place. I'm a big fan of the series, and now there's A Quiet Place Day 1. It's a blockbuster hit this weekend. The movie brought in already $22.5 million on its opening day. Ooh. It's the third chapter of the franchise, and it takes you back to the very moment when the world in that universe went quiet. So here's reporter Joel Gargiulo, who spoke with the cast. 